Boys and girls, it is 8.57 a.m. and I really should be getting to bed. Um, but the doorbell rang, woke me up just as I was getting settled. And not that that's a bad thing because what it did bring is um, the object of our next unboxing. The Digimon Cross Wars uh, Cross Loader Digivice. Now I did mention in the Virtue's Last Reward unboxing that I may be doing this later on in the week. Um, and given that it's here now and I'm awake, well, sure, we may as well get to it. I can get the video uploaded and then I can go to bed and not have to worry about anything until Friday morning. Um, again, with the Wii U. Um, so, yeah, this is the... Taiki version uh, of the crossloader. Again, that's Taiki Kudo, the main character of uh, Digimon Cross Wars Season 1. Um, I know Tagaru Akashi gets a crimson colour, in the, but in terms of the animation, you can never tell the difference. And I think we all know it was just that they didn't want to have to reprint more for merchandising, so it was easier just to go with the same colour. But anyway, given that we have Shoutamon! Uh, on the cover uh, of the box. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and say it's uh, Taiki's. So, we'll take a look at the box first. Um, it's advertising, uh, reload, battle, an infrared data link, a digi memory slot, and a music player. Now, that's pretty cool, because as you can see, it does come with a Magna Anjuman uh, digi memory. Um, it's got a 256 color screen, the first for any of the uh, Digivice toys as far as I'm aware. And again, just the things here. Um, this can support, this it does give you new party members as far as I'm aware if you play Digimelodies. As um, if you've watched Cross Wars, you'll know from the show. So that's showing that here, I think. I mean, that could just be relating back to the fact that it says music player up here. But... Um, Anyway, yeah, the Digimet memory, the infrared link, the battling, and again, the 256 colors. Um, short little what's what on the side of the box. Again, advertising the Magna Anjumon there, and you get the start and how the colors work. And, oh yeah, it is for the Digimelodies. Um, so, back of the box. Um, look, I'm not going to pretend to be fluent in... Japanese, kanji, katakana, hiragana, whatever. Um, I mean, for me, this will mostly be a prop if there's ever a uh, a group for a convention in the future. Um, you know, to go with, I do have the old school Taichi Orange Digivice, and I have the two um, savers or data squad digivices so the i uh, normally get these things in as props um in case a group comes up in the future or there's an opportunity to use it um so i won't be using it much for the v-pet or the battling um but that doesn't mean if my battery doesn't hold out that we can take a look in some form so let's open the box because the um battery is flashing red at me and i sort of want to get this done i don't want to spend half an hour on it like the uh like the virtues last reward unboxing so let's take a look um Okay, so it opens here at the side, salad taped up. Um, yes, I am in bed, as I did explain at the start of the video. I was going to be sleeping for work, but I knocked on the door. So I'm getting this out of the way now. Um, oh, look, look at that. A little pixelated Shoutmon Cross 4. Isn't that awesome? Um, so... Okay, here we are. So we can get the box out of the way. Right, look, I look. You see, look. I'm still preparing uh, for the video. So there's the cross loader and the digi memory. It's actually a fairly big one compared to how the other. Um, my experience with Japanese versions of these have always been that they're tiny. Uh, that has a fair amount of bulk to it by the looks of it. So it's. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, okay, so Digimemory goes there, and the Code Crown goes there. I don't know if you can see, it says CC here and DM here. Um, those slots will actually take regular um, memory cards, um, for because this is a 2GB MP3 player. 
So I think it does take regular um, SD cards just, you know, to be able to load music into it. So I wouldn't worry too much if you do plan to get one, but you don't want to um, suffer the import cost of getting too many digit memories or too many uh, code crowns. Your standard SD card um, goes in the bottom slot and it's the longer version, um, whatever version you might call that, um, that goes in the those in the memory slot um, okay now it's fairly well made um, I'm looking for the button to make it pop up um, well, I just do it myself and there you go so digi cross um, it's a fair amount of bulk in the back I'm presuming um, it's battery operated um, there's screws there um, I don't know if that's. I don't know if this. I don't know if the screws are for the actual thing or just to hold the whole the mount in place. But again, um, I wouldn't. I'm not going to be using this for anything. I don't think. So we'll see how curiosity gets me later. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a screwdriver um, to get into this. I mean, you can see the arrow here, it should just be a case that I can slot it down, and maybe I can, but it's just being awkward because I'm one-handed at the moment. Um, no, okay, so I won't worry about that. If I do decide to put batteries in it and try it out, sure, um, I'm sure I can do a whole new video for that. Anyway, so that's the... Um, oh, this thing even spins around, so, you know, it's sort of like the... You can, I suppose, for authenticity, I suppose, I mean, with the, where am I going with this? Sorry, um, again, it's like 9.04 and I really should be asleep. Um, I guess in the show, when the crosses were being put together in the later animations, this was used for selecting which monsters went into the cross and then accepting. Um, maybe the toy does something similar. Um, again, I don't know. Um... Your infrared happens up here, though I guess if someone's got um, a blue one or um, or the rare black one, I know the black one was only given out in um, for a competition, but the uh, blue one is quite hard to come across. Um, but look at that, that is huge. Um, so yeah, I mean if someone has a blue one or even another red one, um, sure, you can always do the double cross. Um, so that. That's pretty cool. It's a fair amount. I mean, it's not weighty or anything, but this has to be the biggest um, Digivice toy I've seen come from Japan, um, or even the, or even the U.S. I don't think they've even the U.S. ones didn't make the uh, Digivice IC or the, the the burst that that big. Like, actually, I can actually hold that. I don't feel like I'm holding well a toy. So that's new. So. We'll um, put that back. Um, again, there's the digital memory, Magnet and Jamon. Um, and, um, so we'll set that aside. This is, I, I guess it's the, in, this is, I guess, the instruction manual. So, let's open this up. Um, yeah, but it looks a bit, um, oh, and it's full colour. Well, except for the Digivice, but... On. so yeah i mean that shows you there where what goes um oh yeah i did forget to mention because it's an mp3 player um there's a headphone jack in the side here so maybe that'll be worth putting the batteries in for and i can see what the uh music quality is like out of it um so i won't take up too much time going through it Little chibi shout, man. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, so, yeah, and again, it just seems to be more about the battling. Um, yeah, that seems to just slide down. I don't know why I couldn't do it earlier. Maybe it's because I'm trying to do all this one-handed. Um, and then there's a little node there that you can poke and switch it on. It takes two AA batteries. 
So I might get a bit curious and make a new video. Um, do keep an eye out for, I don't know, crossloader video part two. Again, I'm trying to get this one out of the way before my uh, battery dies. So yeah, very nice full color manual. Again, I am not fluent in Japanese in any way, shape or form. I know a couple of words, of, but I wouldn't even be able to ask where's the bathroom. So that's pretty much where I stand on that. But yeah, no, um, beautiful little manual. Uh, yeah, and there's where I was saying about the um, Digi Melodies, um, and I, I, I suppose that saying it can also take on music that's playing normally. Do you know? Maybe I will put batteries in this de after all, because I will want to try out these you know, the Digi Melody functions and that sort of thing. I can't see myself using it the way it's supposed to be. Um, but you know just out of curiosity so yeah definitely there will be a crossloader 2 video at some stage I'll come back to you with that um, so yeah full color manual um, <laughs> little badass uh, shout mon as opposed to the chibi one at the start cute little monitor mon um, oh BL's one uh, and um, shout mon cross 4 again um, Oh yeah, and see, that's your infrared link, or your double cross, um, if you're, I suppose, doing photo shoots at conventions and whatever. Um, battery care, more monitor mons, and uh, it's probably a code to go to the website. And, I oh, look, little monitor mon, digicross. Um, yeah, I see crossing himself with the battery? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it. That is the that is the Digimon Cross Wars um, Taiki version crossloader unboxing. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and um, I'll be back with part two uh, when curiosity gets the better of me. All right. Thanks very much. Bye now. This is Chain ALM.